So we just finished the first part of the conversion from a generator to biogas, and that was placing the Venturi onto the carburetor between the air filter and the carburetor. The second part is using uh, and configuring the regulator, which regulates the gas. It's made so that if gas was present under high pressure, it wouldn't go through. There's a button that you can manually use to flood it and to prime it. Uh, but normally it's when the engine is drawing that it opens the regulator and regulates the pressure so that you can use propane or natural gas bottles with this. The biogas isn't under such high pressure, so we may have to tape this down to allow the biogas to flow fairly freely. But it's a good thing to have the regulator on there. Um, to set up the regulator, once again, you just want to use the supplied thread sealant and assemble the regulator. So I'll put this part in here and same thing here. Because we're dealing with gas and we don't want those gas molecules to escape. And the third and final place where we would put the thread sealant it's down here, and then we'll put that into the outlet. And, and if we can get one more turn around, that would be good. Oh. Okay, so that's basically all there is to that part. Now comes the last part which is the mounting position. You don't want it to be near the exhaust, which is here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna drill a couple of holes here and mount it with these supplied screws, and then we'll cut this hose. They say it should never be longer than the maximum length of this hose, but it can certainly be shorter, as long as we're not interfering with the wheel, and it uh, shouldn't be getting too hot here. There's good airflow. So what we want to do is drill two holes. One thing that you have to make sure of when you're mounting the regulator onto the chassis of the engine is that you leave enough space so you can get your hand in so that you can press the primer button. And you have to be able to do that without burning yourself. The uh, area here, this OHV area where the air uh, intake is, is very, very hot. Ouch. And the exhaust, of course, is very, very hot. So you want to be able to get your hand in. If you have wheels on yours, make it so that you can get your hand in. And without touching, when you reach in, without touching this metal piece here or this metal piece here, you can still hold it down to prime. That's very important. The other thing is it's supposed to be mounted vertically. Uh, you don't want it to touch the metal. If the metal of this touches this, it'll act like a conductor and overheat the regulator. So you want to leave a little bit of space. I slightly angled the regulator when I was drilling my holes down here and you can see I I did it wrong the first time I did it too straight up and it was actually touching this metal piece so I drilled again and moved it over just slightly and so it's on a slight slight angle maybe two or three degrees just so that I can get my hand in and the other thing is that the regulator kit does not come with the right adapter I got this from the garden shop uh, and any uh, Home Depot or, or Bauhaus uh, it's a three-quarter inch to half inch hose adapter. I'm using half inch for my biogas hose and that's going to screw in here. That doesn't fit quite quite right so I'm going to put some uh, sealant on it and it does have this rubber o-ring. Uh, you don't want to lose any, 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 uh, any vacuum so make sure that you get yourself one of these three-quarter to half inch barbs to go down at the bottom of the regulator where you'll connect your Hose. So I've left clearance and I can get my hand. Without touching. So here we have it, June 27, 2010. Helian's second birthday for a better future for our son. 
Uh, I celebrate this day not only with a great party with great friends and family, but also by making the simple conversion of a backup electricity generator to run on biogas that we make from kitchen garbage. This is the regulator right here, and the biogas will go in here. There is a, uh, a regulator on the other side that one can press to uh, let the gas flow in. And then we started up. The other part of the conversion was this bushing right here. So it was just two simple additions to the existing engine. This bushing adapter here that goes onto the carburetor and goes onto the air filter. This hose going to the regulator, and the regulator then takes in the biogas. So we're ready for biogas operation thanks to this kit from U.S. Carburation in West Virginia. And uh, you can reach them at CSC2007 at uscarb.com. Or just look up U.S. Carburation. And you can get your own kit. This kit costs $190. And it's a worthwhile investment to go along with this engine that cost about $250. So we're talking about $450 investment, and then you can turn your kitchen garbage into biogas and run your engine off it. Thanks for Solar Cities on TH Company.